Welcome back to this is Metroid. Oh look, it's Super Metroid. Oh look, Super Super Metroid. Oh look. Regardless. Back to action. Now that I have the space jump, I don't have to worry for shit about those grapples. Not that the grapple beam is useless now. It's just a little less potent, shall I say. So yeah. Uh, plasma beam. That's something I want to get. Uh, I want to get a reserve tank that's over there. Then I'm gonna go get the screw attack, I think. This makes it so much easier, man. Oh lordy! It's not, it's not as easy as most games, you have to time it. It's fucking rhythm heaven here. Rhythm fever! See, now the door's open. To the hustle. Wow. I don't know why I'm singing. I could just be holding a, you know, regular old commentary. For the regular old folks, instead of one of them confusing talks. So I checked out, it turns out there are 50 super missiles total, 50 energy, 15 uh, power bombs, and 230 maximum missiles. So now that I know what the hell I'm striving for, I just need a, you know, some reloads. EXPLOSION! That boss was not that hard! Scanning... For gold! Mamma mia, cuccaria la 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 la! Plasma beam is so much better, I prefer it! <coughs> I like myself some plasma! Or is this music just creepy? This door does not unlock until you get the space jump, I think. It turns out you're not supposed to get the spring ball before you get the space jump. This is unique. Fuck! Seriously, man. Plasma beam. Is that? Yeah, this is pretty much to demonstrate what the fuck the plasma beam does because these guys are kind of annoying. They're not harmful, they're just annoying. And here are another few enemies. Just get the plasma beam and get out. It's the P beam! The plasma beam, it shoots plasma and beams! One of my eyes is very teary, this is not useful! Okay. See if I can pull off the stunt. Um, so there's a way you can get both of them at once, and it's a kind of a neat trick, I guess. Don't know if you're supposed to do it with the spacer or with the. Uh, Let me check it out. I think I got it. I think I got it. Face left. Charger up. Go to this screen. 
Okay, 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 okay. Watch this again. Avar. This is the murder death beam. For the most part, it just glitches your game. This is what it looks like. You should never ever fire it. There are a few, let's say, variations of it in which you use different powers called the chainsaw beam, the reset beam, there's a whole bunch of these like beams, so to speak. They're all pretty fucking awesome. It almost seems intentional with how incredible these beams are. The reset beam resets all bosses, pretty much. Oh, we need to kill all those guys. Um, the chainsaw? I don't know what the chainsaw beam does, but the murder beam simply kills enemies really, really fast. So there's a lot <coughs> my beam does, it penetrates enemies very, very good. It's like your mama! Although, I doubt that your mother has anything to penetrate with. Penetration jokes. Final run just to get some goodies. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah, ooh yeah, ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. Uh, I could go for some ammo. <sighs> ah, fresh rockets. Fresh off the enemy guts. Na 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 na. Get myself some ammo at Walmart. Because Walmart is enemies you need to kill. I've never been to Walmart, really. So to all I know, yes, you do have to kill things to get their the spoils from their guts. Ah, ha, ha. These kids and their new hypes. But 70% say they want to pick all their things from the spoils of fallen enemies. Well then, get some hobos and cut them open. Is that legal? Doesn't matter, we're Walmart. You know, sir, that's not exactly helping the company image. What is? Well, in times like this, it's probably better to, you know, be a friendly company instead of one that is willingly killing hobos. They're hobos, nobody cares. That doesn't change the fact that we're cutting open human beings. You know, we could have just taken some from Africa, they won't miss them. But a hobo might have a history. You're absolutely right. We just cut open employees. Nobody will miss them. What? Employees have no lives. All they do is come in every morning and work. That doesn't mean that they don't have a private life. Private life. <laughs> like any one of these people can with our ridiculous pay and hours. Actually, we pay pretty good considering the circumstances. We do? When the hell did the Industrial Revolution end? Um, a very long time ago. You know, unions exist. Unions. What's wrong with these people? Can't they just enjoy heavily underpriced items? Well, apparently not if it goes at the cost of other people, like themselves. That's just a shame. Then why is nobody caring about Africa? Because they're black? That's racist. Actually, it might as well be true. Because nobody is really doing anything about it that actually works. I mean, they hold campaigns and all, but are they really solving the problem? Are they really working to fix the system? Or are they just saying they are? And what about you? Go wow, that guy can shoot like the wind. He shoots like the wind! That block looks really suspicious. Aww, I was hoping that was a suspicious item block. Item block that's suspicious! Spring ball, spring ball, ball spring, spring ball, ball spring, spring ball. Totally cool. Well, that was one hell of a jump. Na 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 Oh, I just... Wow, a world that one of the silliest pause menu musics ever. 
Fuck! Fuck that shit. I've got save states to fix my problems. For the save state! I'm land! Which is an island! <laughs> we have many more islands than you do! And... Well, we have more islands, so we're better. You do know that islands mean that you have to pay higher fees for transportation and all. It's not that good to be an island cluster. But, 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 but... Snow budding, mister. You're going to have to pay for a lot of bridges. Oh, I don't want to pay for bridges. It's so expensive. It's real expensive. Just way too expensive. So expensive it makes me get an accent. Go, go, Samus! You didn't expect that! Well, neither did I! Because why the fuck? And it's the Samus Cup 2000! And she shoots and she scores! Oh wow, what the fuck's happening? I'm glued to the top. So I need to take, I think, this one. Yep. Damn, this feels like a Super Mario secret. Super Mario secret! I'm sorry, Mario, but we lost the rights to that. You can't fight this current, really? Too bad, there were many items I could have gotten there. But why not? I thought I invented it. Well, technically you did, but that doesn't mean that you get to keep the copyright forever. And unfortunately, your uh, mother company Nintendo decided to not pay the royalty fees. To whom? I don't know, some person. There is Mario! No more It's Me Super Mario. Oh, but I liked it. It's so f Oh, wow! Those rocks are gonna fuck me up! Rockets! Tea and biscuits and 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 tea. Reserve tank has been gotten. Give me a moment, I need to check my pants. No, actually, I need to go to the other side, and that's gonna take a bit, so I'll see you guys in a in a second. In which I'm going to travel to the other sand pole thing. Bye! And we're almost there. That's pretty fucking sh sure. Yeah, 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 we almost got every upgrade in this area! Just one more missile tank after this room. Then I am finito. Pur favor. Munche! French languages! The letter A, B, Q, C, D, all these letters are random. Can you guess which word he is saying? He doesn't even speak English! I do, I do, I do, I do, ooh. Is that a Kel impersonator? That has cancer? Yep. I got him that cancer myself. How can you be proud of that? You infected an actor with cancer. Yep. So he'd be the perfect Kel impersonator. How did that justify anything? Because everyone loves Keenan and Kel. How the fuck do I get in there? Whoa, 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 it can't be that simple, right? It is that simple. I win the prize! A power and a bomb! You have two powers! Power one! You can press a button to make things happen! Power two! 
you can use a pad of directions. You are an idiot! Ha 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 ha! Yes, it's, I think it's the idea that you never really go down here that much. Until you get the space jump. So there's only one more upgrade that is to be gotten. That has gotten. Or has be to be, whatever. And it's a super missile upgrade and it's right over there! That white dot that is in the blue area. And then it's off to Norfair, finish off Ridley, and then it's getting 100 percentages. With a little bit of luck, a little bit of luck, a little bit of luck, a little bit of luck. I can even get some other nice stuff. Oh, okay, okay, I think I need to go here. This music so ambient, occlusion. It just sets the mood for everything. This is the hardest story. That, that really seems like the most arbitrary button opening mechanism ever. You have to shoot a button with a fucking rocket, man. <clears throat> Can you imagine having to go into your office like that? Pulling out a giant RPG and just shooting a rocket propelled grenade in there? What the fuck, man? There are easier ways to lock your doors. Okay, so I think this one's actually a bit of a dickhead. Because it's a shine spark! See? It's a f motherfucking. Must be done exactly on that leaf. If you miss it, you die. If you don't miss it, you don't die. It's as simple as motherfucking that. Motherfucking fucking mother mother of San Jose. San Jose, it's your mother speaking! I'm somewhere worried about your disposition! My what? Your disposition? Fuck! Do I need to shine spark before? I can do that, I guess. Fuck! Go, go, no Vasco Oh, f is this gonna be a fucking pixel perfect? Nope. I win, Meridia! I salute you! This is a salute to both Captain Falcon and Meridia. So now we can leave this fucking dump. As much as I like the style of Meridia, I do not like Meridia in and of itself. Wait, did I get that rocket upgrade in that really tall room? I hope I did. Let's revisit it just to be sure. I'll be back in a moment. It's there. I can see it. Fuck! 
What we need is a plan. Okay. Bobby, you'll drive the getaway car. Tommy, you'll take the guns. But we're just going to get some money from the bank. Yeah. Why do we need all this stuff? Because if anything goes wrong, know that I love you. We're just going to the bank to get fifty dollars so we can buy some pizza. Stop acting like we're robbing them. I know you guys all wished we didn't have to do this, but you know, I think he's still a little stuck in that little mafia world of his. You know, where everything's all emotional. Should we get a psychiatrist or something? I mean, this is getting kind of creepy. He's kissing me. He's kissing me on the lips. Oh, dear God. God, get sent out. Come on. I told you I'd get in jail. You started sexually harassing me. I'm your son or nephew or whatever. I'm family. That's the problem. But, but, but. I thought we were robbing a bank. We were going to the bank to get $50 so we could buy some goddamn good pizza. We weren't robbing a fucking bank. But then, why did you take all the explosives? We work at a quarry. And I had to take some home because some didn't detonate and I needed to investigate it. And the detonator? That's to make sure that nobody pulls it while I'm expecting the fucking explosives. God, is this guy an idiot or what? I mean, for fuck's sake. Does he even know who I am? Bobby McBobberson? Oh, fuck you, guy. I'm not paying bail. I don't have any reason to pay bail to begin with, so yeah. You're stuck in jail. You're stuck in jail. I knew I shouldn't become a mob boss. You never were a mob boss. You were always a fucking goon. Oh, oh wow. I'm going to get that missile upgrade and then we'll call it a day, okay? Because that missile upgrade is just taunting the living shit out of me. And nobody knocks the living shit out of me. Except people. But objects are not permitted to do so. Robots, if they're sentient, fine. Actually, I'm perfectly okay with any robot that mocks me because, well, it's not like they can do anything else, you know? You see what I'm saying, you know? You know, it's a kind of a... You, you gotta know what you're doing, you know? Okay, you, you know gotta... By the way, there's 14 energy tanks, which is like the most arbitrary number you could possibly pull out of your ass. And that together with four reserves, that makes 18 tanks. How fucking arbitrary in numbers can you get? I'm getting arbitrary numbers, I'm getting- Oh wow, remember, I can now stand in the weak lava. Not in the deep brine star, holy shit, my pants just fell off lava. And look, the plasma now allows me to hurt these guys. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. That's a sexy sprout you got there, big boy. How about you take that sprout over to my room and call it a date? Oh my god, I'm sexualizing cartoonish sprites. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby and have ourselves a snack. Hi, we're vampires. Oh, that's lovely for you. What would you like? Uh, well, my son unfortunately isn't a vampire yet, so he'll just have a medium cup popcorn with uh, extra honey, right? <laughs> what we'd like is, do you have any Puerto Ricans? We're feeling a bit exotic. Unfortunately, all Puerto Ricans have already been taken. Oh, gosh darn it. Um, you wanna go Asian? Is Asian good for... No, no, no. Um, let's see. Um, do you have any fat Americans? Those are always, those are always nice, right? I mean, they're nice and juicy and the blood's always good. Well, yeah, son, let's, we're going for a fat American. Do you have any of those? Um, well, we have one from a frightened old man. I think he was fat. But that doesn't count. I want a fat American. The nice and sugary. Can I have someone with diabetes at least? Let's see. Oh, look. We have two people with diabetes ready to be... Uh, yeah. We got two diabetes people for you. Uh, type 1 or type 2? Because I do not want a type 1. The last time that happened... Oh, dear God. That was... Oh, this is deep magma. You can't touch that even with the gravity upgrade. 
And the last time I got a type 1, it wasn't as sugary as I was promised. Um, no, this guy is a certified type 2 diabetes man. Perfect. Uh, how high is his sugar count? High enough that he's classified as dangerous. Ooh, adventurous, isn't it, honey bun? We're going to take that man. Um, what kind of veil would you like it in? Um, do you have any classic Dracula cups? I feel like going a bit cliche today. Well, if you're going cliche, you should have used a lot more V's in your sentences. <laughs> I'm not going to apply a negative stereo. Why is the game so slow? That was weird. Well, normally I'm not the kind of guy to apply negative stereotypes, but I guess if you insist, my lady, I say, why not? Vlad. Secret rocket is obtained. It's rockets and it's secrets. Damn, I have way too many missiles. And I keep calling them rockets for some reason. I don't understand. Do you know what it feels like opening the mail and realizing that you're too late? For what? Mail is fucking slow as balls, man. If it was email, then maybe yeah, but they sent me a mail for the 1st of September, 2011. It only arrived yesterday. It contained the fact that I have cancer. What? I, what the? Wow. It says emergency express. Please deliver this message ASAP or someone will die. Oh my god, if you do not deliver this before the 10th of September, I'm going to murder you guys, you know, because we don't give you free health insurance for nothing. That's a really long thing to just stamp out. So, it took them about a year to deliver a letter from a hospital that's, what, five blocks away? Why did they call? The phone line was out, and I have no idea what happened. These things are weird. These little chunks. Those chunky monkeys! It's Mr. Post Office, I am very disappointed. What's well, the problem? My letter arrived a year late, and it contained the fact that I have cancer. It was even stampled an emergency! An express letter! Why would it take this long? Because, sir, all letters have to go through a terrorist verification program to see if they contain any sort of terrorist or hedonist deeds. It's a letter. Anthrax letter, sir. They exist. You do know that the anthrax letters that were found were sent by CIA agents or someone who worked with drugs? This comes from my oncologist. On top of that, it's even signed by him. You could find this man. Sir, he signed the fucking letter. It has a stamp of his own god dang office. There is no reason to suspect this letter of containing any traces of anthrax whatsoever. Sir. Please listen. We have these policies to keep you safe. Why would anyone send me an anthrax letter? I'm a clerk. I work at an office that isn't even that big. A terrorist attack on me is more wasted. Ooh, that's a fancy ass door. Um, why the fuck would you even check my letters for that? Sir, I have an unmarked letter for the president. Um, it's a bit heavy and it smells a bit funny. But here you go. Thank you. We'll send it right away. What? This is so you can't wall jump up there, I guess. What the fuck? Sir, it's a letter for the president. We shouldn't keep his mail. The letter has a bomb in it. Just look at it. It's very obnoxiously big. It for no reason whatso fucking ever. Contains an almost atrocious amount of chemicals in it. Sir, it's a letter for the president. It's probably important. There's no one on the address. How do we even know that this person knows the president and isn't just some random Al Qaeda terrorist? Sir, I don't care. You're not the president. You're not as important. Then why did you check my letter? For fuck's sake, you're. you're talk Magma Caverns! Oh! <gasps> boom! Ba ba! Ba boom! 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 Ba ba da boom! 
Sir, we need to make- Shut up. I don't care. I'm going to the Better Business Bureau and I'm going to ask who the fuck authorized your business. Sir, please sit down or I will tase you. What? We are not letting anyone discriminate us. What? Oh, oh. Sally, what the fuck are you doing with my letters? Who is she? She's my daughter. She's completely paranoid and schizophrenic. So you let her handle letters? Yes. Now in the news, the president has been killed by a letter bomb. It is unknown how the letter bomb ever passed inspections, as the postman said that the letter felt completely detonatable and flammable, and saw absolutely no reason to deliver it until we heard from a local assistant called Sally, please fucking just deliver the letter, it's for the president, it's probably important. After which he was forced to ignore 17 times, well, the orders from a commander general who happened to be on visit. Did I do good? You killed the president, Sally. I can't tolerate this. This is going on your resume. But, but... Technically speaking, we have to take her to jail, but you know, she tried her best. Actually, she delivered your birthday card too late. My birthday card? For my daughter? Is that why she only received it in June? Yep. What the fuck is wrong with... Sir, I had to make sure there weren't any bombs in it. So you check my letter, that is personally signed to my daughter for fucking bombs, but don't check the president's mail for bombs. What the fuck is wrong with these people? I wish I knew, I wish I knew. Oh look, it's a hidden thing in my cheek. It's all power bomby though. Drain the magma, bitch! I've got missiles for days, bitch. Let's all go to the lobby. It's actually a really good point to use the the charge bomb. Need health must regenerate. Bum, 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 mum. There you go. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. It's Chorizo 2! Chorizo Harder! For a good day to Chorizo Hard. So meet up with Chorizo 2, who can grab your missiles and throw them back. And they hurt! Yeah, bitches! I've got shells for days, bitch! I wanna get a reward or something. Screw attack! Screw you, bro! Bro, yo, bro, go with the flow, bro, yo! Yo, yo, bro, flow, go! YOLO! You only live once, which means you should die now! You never got YOLO. What the hell's wrong with YOLO, people? What the hell's wrong with you anyway if you think that just because you have one lifetime doesn't... means you can just waste it on something stupid? I mean, fuck! Drugs aren't the best experience in life, if anything, they're the worst! They have dramatic consequences and everything. Yeah, I really don't get YOLO people either. Yay! The f one more and I'm done with these. Kind of sanding, actually. 
So I think I'm going to cut it off in about a moment or two. So the screw attack pretty much kills a lot of kinds of enemies. It's just one hit. It's really fucking shakshi. So yeah! We've got the screw attack, we completed Meridia, we killed the golden Torizo. Honestly, I couldn't have made it any better of an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and you all had to spend different time enjoying it, really. Because I am doing this for you and for me. It wouldn't be worth my time if I didn't make someone happy with it, so... Yeah. But if you're unhappy with it, I don't care as long as one other person's happy. I'll try to adapt to your advice, though. If you have any constructive criticism to give, go ahead. I'll listen with two ears instead of one. I will absorb the advice and CONSUME IT! Become one with it. Grow to the almighty being of Thor. Next time, we're going to this very shaky room. See you guys next time, and have a fan-dibblish-flablish day.